For the 60th time, welcome back to the Room Tone Podcast. We are 60 nifty and full of titties. We're 60 and ready to retire. (laughs) Dude, come on. You know we're not going to retire at 60. Never. Probably 85 at our age. Party like it's 85. If I don't retire when I'm 50, I'm just going to kill myself. Yeah, there's no way. (laughs) But here on the Room Tone Podcast. Nothing <laughs> 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 the good vibes of Room Tone vibes. Podcast. <laughs> my name is Austin Repesa. My name is Austin Swain. And my name is Maddie. And this is the Room Tone Podcast. The show where we make a movie. <laughs> Pause for Room Tone. For our 60th episode, we've got a little trivia game show tonight. Who wants to play What the Duck? I do. I do. Quack, quack, I want to play. I want to know what the duck's about. I want to know what the duck you're talking about. There we go. It's the production trivia show. Yay. What the duck? Yay. Quack, (laughs) quack, everybody. Let's get down. So, welcome to the show. Here's the game. You, Austin, and Maddie, you will be asked 20 questions regarding movie making and the production phase of the creative process. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Are you are you ready, buddy? I'm sure you're gonna kick my ass. These are 20 questions, uh, and so this is gonna be Jeopardy style or Family Feud style. The first person to hit their buzzer oh, fuck. will be giving their answer. Does the buzzer quack? Yes, your buzzer quacks. So the first one to quack will be able to give their answer to the question. Okay. If they fail, then the other person is given the chance to steal. Okay. Uh, for the first round, each question is worth. One point. Question one. Fucking kill you, dude. And a reminder, the first five questions are um, positions on a film set. Are they multiple choice? Or or in the production. No, you will be given the description, and the first one to buzz in will answer. give their best answer. I guess I just realized you did say Jeopardy style. Yes. Okay, so do we have to say, like, who is a... No, you don't have to ask a question. Okay. 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 Um, Okay, so... This person is the production's chief lighting technician and head of the electric department. They plan and coordinate the placement of pow- and powering of lights to achieve the level of illumination desired by the director of photography. Quack. Who is a gaffer? Yes, that is correct. That is the gaffer. <laughs> nice. um, I got the head of the buzzer, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Quack. <laughs> Quack. Next question. This is the head of the grip department, the natural counterpart and collaborator to the gaffer. This person is simple. Si- yes. What is uh, key grip? Correct. Nice. Or who is key grip? <laughs> you don't have to say who is. You also. don't have to phrase <laughs> this question. <laughs> this is in jeopardy. We will get sued. <laughs> This person is similarly tasked with planning and coordinating grip elements to execute a lighting plan. Unlike the gaffer, the key grip is also the arbiter of safety on set. Mm. So safety and uh, equipment. Mm. Your third question. This person is the head of the wardrobe department. In collaboration with the director, they craft the creative drive behind all clothing. Yes. Costume designer? That is the costume designer. Yes. For your fourth question. At their core, this person is responsible for recording the images of a film in accordance with the director's vision. Quack. Yes. Cinematographer? Yes, this is the cinematographer or the director of photography. They are technically the head of the camera department, um, but guide the creative decisions made by the grip and electrical departments. That's who those are listening to. And for your final question. But wait, did you say there's 20? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> the, the ones that are worth one point. Of the, of the first section. All right. 
The last question is a, is more about the structure and layout of the hierarchy on a film set. It does multiple choice. Okay. okay. Thank um, God. Yeah. <laughs> When the topics of movie set terminology and film crew jobs converge, the first two phrases you're likely to run into are above the blank and below the blank. They originate from a common practice in production budgeting in which this visual metaphor is used to visually divide film crew positions that are paid according to a pre-negotiated fixed rate and the film crew positions that are paid according to a variable hourly or daily rate. Ooh, that's hard. This term splits the producers and directors from the gaffers and the grip teams and 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 the phrase is above the blank and below the blank correct is it above the fold or below the fold above the line or below the line above the page or below the page the first one i'm gonna say the line Maddie says above the fold and below the fold. Austin says above the line or below the line. The answer is B, below the line or above the line. So that concludes the first yeah. section. Austin has four points. Maddie has one point. Yeah. The next questions are worth two points each. Let's do it. Are you it's easier. ready? They are easier. Sweet. Are your buzzers ready? Yeah. Oh, they're buzzing. Wah. Maddie and Austin, what are the units used to measure the color of light on the spectrum from blue to orange? Wait. Austin. CMYK? That is incorrect. What Maddie, was the question? The question is, what are the units used to measure the oh. color of light? The color of light from the spectrum of blue to orange. <laughs> Wait. I'm bad. Go That's okay. It. You have the chance to steal. Do I? I don't yes. know. Yes. <laughs> what are the units used to measure the color of light from the spectrum of blue to orange? It's like I know what you're talking about. I just can't think of it. Go for it. You quacked. Austin? Is it color temperature? For the units? So like what Calvin? are the units? Yes. The answer is Calvin. Calvin. Wow, I don't think I ever would have got that. <laughs> uh, yeah, light color measure uh, ranges from uh, like thirty thousand Kelvin up to sixty five thousand Kelvin in our range of visual light, mm -hmm. where like your very warm candle light is. Is, you, is more of that orange tungsten glow. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. And that's and that's at the lower range, that 38, 35,000. Mm -hmm. It's more Cal of like a yellow light, yeah. Calvin. Yeah. I misunderstood the question at first. I will admit. I, no, that's I, I understand. And that's part of the game. Yeah. Okay, so no points awarded that round. What? I got it right. Yeah, not the... That's the rules, though. You buzz in for the chance, and the next person gets the chance to steal. You Man. can't steal back in Jeopardy? You can't steal your own. That's fair. Oh, That's true. Fair. Okay. Yeah. Right. Family feud. Hey, bu rules, if, yeah. buzz in if you know it. I have a true feud with this family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Question two. If you are asked to stop down, what are you being asked to do? Quack. Oh, Austin, buy a beak. Uh, lower your aperture. Or, or sorry, what are you asking to do? You're asking to lower the light that's coming through the sensor? Is that what you're... I don't know, you know, whatever. I think I know. <laughs> uh, an argument can be made that both are correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're asked to make the d image darker by closing the aperture, um, which, yes, well. You lower the exposure. Yeah. Lower the yeah, expo yeah. Quack. Quack. <laughs> when making cinematic camera moves, many different terms can be used to define movements. Question number three What is a pan? Quack. Quack. Oh. Austin? <laughs> no, you got it. When a camera's on a tripod and it moves from left to right in a 180 degree turn. That is, is correct. Is that specific? I thought it was just from left to right or right to left. I mean, not, I mean, it's, you're, you're turning 180 degrees, like. Or well, I guess like, but yeah. why are you? You, all, it doesn't, you don't have you, to be turning. On you're right. Yeah, degrees. the 180 degrees isn't important. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, like yeah, you, moving from right to left. Yeah, you can mark. You can move 100, 360 degrees. That's true. That's yeah. true. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? Point to Maddie. 
Yeah, that seems like a wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You limited yourself. I limited yeah. myself. I'm a dumb, dirty whore. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four. What is a tilt? Quack. Maddie. It's a effect of the lens that makes a different type of blurred effect on whatever you're viewing through the camera. Okay, I there's I that that is an answer. Um, Asta, <laughs> that is an answer. Is it tilt shift? That's t- that would be tilt shift. Ah, Austin, chance to steal. Wah. Um, a tilt is when you go up and down on oh, your yeah. tripod. Boop, boop. That's right. It is another camera movement moving up and down. Um, and so damn tilt shift, tilt shift. <laughs> gotcha. That was a good description of tilt shift. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. Look at a tilt shift lens, people. It's some some crazy shit. Yeah. Make it hard. Uh, so question five, but Bet- with a pan and a tilt, what piece of equipment can be utilized to get these movements? Where? Austin. A tripod. A tripod is the perfect way to get these (laughs) movements. I would have also accepted gimbal. Mm. Question number six. What is a dolly? Austin. A dolly is when you push the camera forward uh, into your subject, I guess you would say. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, Maddie, a chance to be more specific for a chance to steal. That's Isn't it that? <laughs> I would say there are there are elements of your answer that are missing. So no, if you no, have the no, chance no. to fill in the gaps, like pushing some pushing the camera forward on like wheels or something to like draw in on them. I don't know. I think he's right. <laughs> uh, you're both right. It's pushing in, but it's also pulling back. You can dolly, oh. you can dolly oh. in, or you can yeah. dolly out. Oh. So, yeah, so pushing forward or, yeah, coming in. So, Austin, you'll get the points for that round. Bing. Along our section of camera movement trivia, question number seven, what is a truck? When? Austin. It is when a camera is on wheels and it is moving along with the subject? That is incorrect. Mm. I had a feeling. Maddie, a chance to steal. Truck is the Ford F. It's a camera movement, you said? Yes. I have no idea. I've never heard that before, I don't think. So a dolly in or out is moving toward or away from the subject. Mm -hmm. A truck is when you're moving left to right with the subject. Hmm. I I don't think I've ever heard that. Same. Yeah, it's a... Trucking, trucking left or trucking left. Right. I love that. That's a, mm. thank you for for adding a little, another piece of knowledge to me. Absolutely, you you, you gave me a little kiss of knowledge, and I I enjoyed it. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so Noah points around, awarded that round, but for a for a dolly and a truck, what piece of equipment can be utilized to get these movements? <laughs> Austin, a gimbal. <laughs> A dolly. <laughs> uh, both are correct. A slider. I would I would say that a dolly is more correct than the gimbal, so I'll give Maddie two points what and Austin one and you? Austin what one point. A gimbal? That was so like new age. We do that with gimbals all the time. A gimbal <laughs> Okay, I actually had a plan that my running joke was gonna be I, I will also accept gimbal because a gimbal can be, can be used to get anything. <laughs> right. Can be used to get any one of these. It's very freeform tool, which is why I'm giving you one point. Oh. Yeah, shut up. (laughs) So it is now 13 to 5. Yeah, I think you're fine, bitch. (laughs) Uh, Rounding out the end of our camera movement portion, what is a pedestal? Austin? Is when the camera uh, moves up and down without without changing its composition. It's when the camera moves up and down. <laughs> Correct. <Yeah. laughs> well, you know what I mean? Because like, I feel like like people can like misinterpret like a tilt yeah. to be like up right. and down. So rather than yeah, slanting, you know, looking down to looking up, it is it is being risen without changing its angle. There we yeah. go. It's angle of view. Yeah, it's it's like horizontal angle. Yeah. 
or it's 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 the movement along no. the y axis of the camera. Okay, yeah. there we go. I like that. To achieve a pedestal, what piece of equipment can be used to get this movement? Wham. Austin. A jib. A jib is correct. That is like a large lever that lifts the camera up. Looks like kind of like a crane. Yeah. Yeah. Also called a crane. Okay, moving on to our camera image section. If you would like to affect the blur of the background of your shot, Wah. well, Austin, you change your aperture. That's correct. You change the aperture. <laughs> I was going to say gauge and blur. Fix it in post. Technically. Oh, well, we didn't hear the rest of the question, so I just threw a shot. <laughs> Next question. Question 17. If you'd like to affect the motion blur of your shot. Quack. Quack. Oh. Maddie. Shut, shut her speed. Yes. Changing the amount of time that light is exposed to the sensor mm -hmm. yeah. will extend the motion blur or sharpen it if you Switch make your shutter around. speed higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give like, it a doobie. Yeah, that's how they shoot war movies and drug scenes. So are drug we... scenes they shoot with a low shutter. Well, it depends on the drug, homie. What drugs are you watching? I mean, meth. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some high, sutter, high shutter speed shit. That's fair. That's fair. Try saying that 10 times fast. <laughs> high shutter speed shit. High, high shutter, shutter speed si shit. High shutter speed shit. High <laughs> shutter speed shit. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> Maddie and Austin, if you'd like to affect the exposure of your shot without changing the blur, what would you change? ISO. Wank. First one the quack. <laughs> Motherfucker. I think we should both get a point. Fuck it! Off. She did say Fuck that, so. you. Fuck you. At least we both get one. No, that's fair. You're getting me from five to six, all right, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next two questions are worth five points each. They are standalone questions free of their own segment. What three things must you adjust in unison to achieve a Zolly? Wah. Austin, you need to zoom in with your camera. Uh, with you have to change the focal length while also pushing forward. Uh, with a, like a dolly shot, pushing in with your camera. Um, while also maintaining focus on the subject at hand. Maintaining focus was what I forgot. Wank. Mm -hmm. That is the third yeah. piece that slips away. Oh, yeah. We know about slipping it away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is correct. Let it slip away. Is a, <laughs> a, tricky, slip away. a tricky choreography. A tricky some good. And for the 20th question, your final. On a film set... Which common household item is used on professional film sets and referred to by the obscure name of C-47? Austin. Is it canned air? That is incorrect. Mm. Maddie, a chance to steal. Which common household item is used on professional film sets and referred to by the obscure name of C-47? <laughs> no helping. I don't know, baby oil. <laughs> That's a good guess, though. I have no idea. The answer is the clothespin. That oh. is stupid as hell. Wait, why is it called C forty seven? You guys don't know this. No. no. So the clothespin, your like wooden uh, spring loaded piece that will hold your clothes on the laundry is right for those who don't know a clothespin <laughs> who aren't hit with the kids <laughs> yeah. you know, for, our, for our gen zers out there who've never seen a clothespin yeah true um and commonly used to like hold clothing and hold wires and all kinds of shit uh historically was stored in a bin labeled c47 amongst an entire array and people on the film set just took to saying grab me a c47 mm -hmm. And it has stuck as a just kind of colloquial lingo term on film sets as a clothespin. Interesting. 
I've never heard that. Fun fact of the day. Oh, yeah. that was fun. I'm having a lot of fun, guys. C47. Good job, Austin. I'm assuming Austin won. <laughs> and, uh, yes. Oh, hold on. Is it a bonus stars? Like a no, Mario Party? No. No, I can't come up with all that. <laughs> it's okay. We can just be done. <laughs> okay. That's my reward. <laughs> Austin, congratulations. <laughs> Maddie, an amazing job. Thank you, oh, every. Sh- don't patronize me. You did. You did. Gr- you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what are we doing? You scored a full you scored points. You were on the board. It's fine. Alright, everyone. Across the room tone. Have a good night. Let these guys fight it out. <laughs> Thank you for joining. We're gonna beat each other up. Thank you for joining us for 60 full episodes, you guys. 60. We are getting old. Six D's, dude. Yeah, That'd six. be nice. <laughs> That's my grades in up. high school. <laughs> six D's? Yeah. Dog, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's a lie. I was a straight A student. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you were touching on some straight double D's, man. Yeah. You're like, get over here, girl. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> <laughs> that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining. Follow us on socials by our merge, and here's to 60 more. Here's to episode 69. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking at you, girl. Pause for room tone. <laughs>